we are in an indoor farm recording plant sounds for a plant-based beat. So we're going to use this plant wave device, get the signals from there and see what comes out and make a beat out of it. Listen to this. This is mad. It's playing beats. <laughs> Have we got a part of the sound we like? I think we can use that. Yeah. Get some drums pumping. That sound is sick now. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let that roll. Pitch it down and add more drums. Jeez. This is hard. This is hard. <laughs> Yo, used to speak on the regs. Now I chop it up with veg. No more getting up vex. Fresh mind when I get out of the bed. Now I'm researching the web. I've got all of the vitamins checked. How do you do it? They said. Vegan things what I said. Can't lie, it was hard at first, that's why I researched, so I didn't put a foot wrong. On the road menus, had nothing good on. Now I go subway. Can I get a foot long? <laughs> How you doing guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about a recent shoot I did for Subway. Um, I got to work with an amazing creative called Jamal Edwards. You guys will be familiar with him from SBTV. Um, Jamal and I have been in contact over the last couple of, last year or so, um, and we've just been waiting for the opportunity for our paths to collide on a project. And thankfully he popped me on this recent project as Gaffer, um, which I'm super excited for. But the project was for Subway because Subway basically have released a new range of vegan subs and with that they wanted to create a good piece of PR content that was based um, that was based around being vegan so what they've done is they use the little product and, and what it effectively does is picks up the audio sound that plants make as they go through the process of photosynthesis so totally wacky stuff um, what they effectively do is they pick up this audio they we then gave the audio track to star one the star one brothers basically created a grime beat and then p money actual p money basically then wrote a vegan lyric to sort of sit over the top of it so like created bars to go along with this track which is just outrageous and both of the both P Money and Star One are vegans, so it made sense to bring those onto this project because it obviously correlates with the theme of it and stuff like that. So that was the whole project brief. With that, we had to create a treatment that would fall in line with what we were trying to achieve. So we wanted to bring this story out and, and kind of cover it all. The first location was a container ship in the city. So this container ship is converted into um, a grow factory, basically. So for those that are, those that are green fingered out there with the old sense Amelia and all that sort of stuff, whatever you're into, um, basically this is a container ship that's designed to grow vegetation like uh, plants and lettuce and stuff like that. And they've converted it and, and use it in the city so if you live in the city and you want fresh produce there you go it's done so not it doesn't have to come from a farm in rural England it's in the city which is pretty amazing so that place is called crate to plate and I'll stick a link for these guys down below so you can check them out and see what they're about totally crazy concept and so that was the first location now what we effectively had the guys doing there was turning up being inside the container ship and then picking up the noise from these plants. So within that setup, there wasn't really much we could do because there was a lot of UV lights in there already. So we didn't want to kind of like, you didn't want to turn them off. You wanted them there for effect because they look amazing. The video is playing behind me. You can see it looks amazing. So you want to keep that treatment as much as possible. So we continued with that, but then what we did have is I used the Forza 500. The Forza 500 has the Fresnel head and the Fresnel head was pointing at the top of the container ship. So the light hits up and then falls down. Now, the reason we did that is if there are purple, blues, reds, green lights in this container ship and we stick the subject into that space, they'll obviously be affected and wrapped in that light. So then they start to pick up those colors. We wanted to key them out and that effectively is light them with a different light from the ambient. So we key them from that scenario. And that just adds a little bit more of a cinematic effect to the whole look. So in terms of how we did that, it was just the Forza 500 pointing at the ceiling with the Fresnel. The light is falling down because it was quite low ceilings. We didn't have to go super punchy. Light hits, falls and spreads, and there's a little pool of light that's separate from the rest of the space. Um, and then what I also did is 
down the back of the room, I connected a Forza 60, Forza 60 with the little Fresnel, the F11. And the reason I did that is as P Money and Star One are going and looking at the vegetation, it just creates a bit of separation from them. So you get that Hollywood kind of split, like they are separated from the ambient light that's there. And that just adds a little bit more depth and texture to the whole production. So that was the first location we shot that, which was pretty cool. So not too much work there from a from a gaffer perspective. Obviously preparing, obviously preparing for it was important. Making sure the clients were happy with the treatment, which they were, and I used my normal method. So you know, once the client tells me the idea, I then send them a, a Pinterest mood board of images that we you know I quite like, and then I would then go and create a lighting plan just to show them kind of like a bird's eye view of the breakdown, and they will say yes or no. The reason I do that is. If I supply this information and we turn up on set and you know stuff has to change or they're not happy with it or that's at least I, I I can you know I have the the reassurance that walking into this project everything my side was covered as opposed to turning up not prepared not bringing the right equipment not knowing what the the, treat, the treatment is about so by doing that you kind of cover all bases and if they say oh, i don't like it we say well guys i've given you the opportunity you know if it means you have to come back and do pickup days and stuff like that at least you've kind of done the prior planning the second day we then shot in a studio in southeast london so this studio is super famous quite a few people have famous musicians have recorded um, quite famous tracks there. And there were two rooms that we were gonna shoot in there. There was the main recording studio, and then there was like a production booth. So there were two rooms that we had to treat. The original idea is that we wanted to hang tube lights from the ceiling at all different lengths. Now the problem being is, as a recording studio, it was huge. So to get up and get down, we eventually didn't have enough time to do that. So we altered the plan slightly. And what we did do is in the recording booth, so the lyrical recording booth where P Money recorded his tracks, we take we, we we fixed. So I used heavy duty Velcro and duct tape to fix these Astera tubes onto this frame that has no fixing points. So I kind of had some MacGyver solution. And the reason we use Asteria is because the cinematographer had Asteria. So he was like, I've got these to use, so we'll just use them. And I was like, okay, cool. We still use Pavo tube as well. And the good thing with this is it shows that, you know, whether you're using Asteria or Pavo tube or the rest of it, they're all professional and they all will get the job done for you. So I affixed these tubes to the frame to create almost like a, a Hollywood mirror. So a makeup Hollywood mirror look where you've got the, re the lights dotted around the outside um, and that's where P money was positioned. But what we effectively did is used a mix panel 60 behind the, 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 the booth with the tubes on throwing another color of light separate from the green lights on the tube, on the booth uh, around the outside so then on the wider shots you've got the green coming from the booth but then you've got this spill of kind of like blue purpley along the outside and that just kind of like separates e everything from each other just a little bit more um, and that was the mixed panel 60 um, at a low angle just pushing out the light to the side and that's how we, we went about creating that then what we did for the key over if we're looking at P money directly on, over to the uh, left hand side of me, we had a Forza 300, but a B, with a big 120 softbox and a grid, um, and that's coming in as the key. The problem with the key there is then we, were we had too much darkness over the other side because of the angle that P money was, was recording at. So then we had a Forza 200 with just a hard reflector, just creating a little bit of fill coming in. So you've got these two points of light merging into one. One's the key, the other one's the fill, just to kind of like blend those lines a, a little bit more. So that's how we lit that space. In terms of the fixtures, three Astera tubes, one Forza 300B with a 120 softbox and grid, and then one Forza 200 with hard reflector coming in and the mix panel 60 behind. And that was the treatment for that room and you can kind of visualize that whole setup. Then we move into the second room, which was the, the production booth. In the recording booth, what we effectively wanted to do is we wanted to make sure we could represent the brand's core colors, so yellow and green. So we had Pavo Tube 6Es and they were tuned into a green color and they were put on top of some of the monitors um, to create kind of like this, this just 
green backlight, this green ambient backlight. Now, what we also did is we left them exposed because we wanted to add that industrial feel to it as opposed to hide them away behind stuff. We wanted you to visually see the lights to add to that kind of grime effect and whatnot. And they look really good. In the scenes where um, Star One are talking to camera and they're just dotted behind them, they look really great. Because we were shooting all day um, and the batteries, I, I think we kind of had them at like 20%. To make sure we had enough juice for the job, I basically set them up with a USB-C to USB-A and then that USB-A being plugged into an FX Lion. So I had one plugged into the 150 watt per hour one, the Nano one, and then also had the Nano two. So both of those had power for the rest of the day basically. So they were covered. Everything else was powered by mains because we had access to mains there. The, the day before, everything was powered via battery because we didn't have access to any power because the, the container ships all had their own power source and they're coming from America, so we didn't have the conversion. So we couldn't use any of the power in the container ships. That's how we, we did the practicals in that space with the six Cs. And then above the, the talent, we had a PavoTube 30C hidden between the soundproofing panels on the ceiling, just throwing down a green light into the space. So we have a green light coming from behind and a green light coming from the top. Um, and that just basically adds to this, like, th this feeling of kind of like vegetation and greenness and it falls in line with the brand colors. And then on some parts where we were filming sort of P-Money having a narrative perspective, like talking to camera, or talking to star one i was hidden behind a wall with a lito light 5c um, just throwing in a bit of key and the reason being is we were down lighting and back lighting and p money had a baseball cap on so no light is getting into that space there so we basically had to throw a little bit of more light into it and it's similar to what i'm doing in this setup here so i've got a little light in front of me if i stuck my hood on because i'm being down lit you, you can't really see my face but then if i was to do this that then throws light into that space. So that's effectively what we had to do um, with P Money, just to put some light into that space. In terms of how I'm lit here, I've got a clamshell set up. So I've got an overhead light with a grid and then a simple panel in front of me, just filling in my panda eyes. So similar to what we did with P Money in that shot, just to make sure we could see his face because he's gonna be talking, he's gonna be sharing his emotions and expressions, and we want to be able to capture all of that in the piece. So it's super important that we could see that emotion on his face. So we had to light him correctly. So yeah, that is how we lit the second room and, and that's the whole lighting setup. So hopefully from the cutaways and the, the planning, like the cutaways and the lighting plans, you can kind of visualize how I went about doing this. That gives you an insight into how we went about the setup. Again, if you have any questions, please do pop them down below. I just want to say a massive thank you to, um, to Jamal Edwards. Like to work with Jamal is a bit of a dream come true. You know, Jamal is a very successful influential and respected person in the uk and in the creative scene and you know i've had my eyes on him for a while because i i love growing up in southeast london i love what he did with sbtv you know he made grime and youth culture music like he he brought it to the forefront and that was really important for for people with, with my background so jamal edwards has been on my radar for a few years and to get the opportunity to work with him yeah huge amount so super 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 grateful of that um i hope you enjoyed the video at the beginning for me super respect to star one and p money how they took this raw they took a raw plant they took a, a raw real life plant and turned it into an actual grime track and i think this is one of those pivotal moments in time where Previously, vegans might have got a bad rap, like, oh, it's vegan, oh, he just always tells about being vegan, or he's ve you know, because you know, people are trying to get this message out there that veganism is gonna play a part in saving the world because the way we eat meat is unsustainable. I'm not a vegan myself, we don't order any meat, but if I go out to eat, I will eat meat. So during our weekly shop, everything is all veg, every, like, we don't buy any meat whatsoever. And then if I go out anywhere, and I fancy me, I'll buy me. So that's our that's us playing our little part. But we have family, we've got friends who are all vegan as well. And sometimes like you think, oh God, vegan this, vegan that. Like, and now there is a sick track basically, like telling the story of someone's vegan journey made from plants. It goes full circle. And I have a little bit of a hope that, you know, there'll be young kids out there being proud to be a vegan and 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 rapping along to to p money's rap because it's yeah it's, it's it's pretty cool so it was great to be on such a creative project um and have such creative freedom to be able to light it and 
I'm, I'm super happy with it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and really appreciate you watching the video. If you've enjoyed the video and you like this kind of style, like me explaining to you about jobs that I've done, pop a comment down below. Let me know that this is valuable to you and I will keep doing it. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends and I will see you all soon. Take care. Yo, used to speak on the regs. Now I chop it up with veg. No more getting up vex. Fresh mind when I get out of the bed. Now I'm researching the web I got all of the vitamins checked How do you do it, they said Vegan things what I said Let me start by saying This is not a preach This is my story, so let me speak Had a few health issues Time it was peak Waking up like I didn't get no sleep That's when I got told that my diet was weak Way too much meat And it needed tweaks Vegan for a day turned into a week Then I switched up the milk I was getting in deep I was dropping out this I was dropping out that I was pestering Jamie's life with tweaks Got a whole shopping list Followed it to the T When I left that till Bare bags and receipts now they can't say nothing good for you cheap Used to have a plate full when just went asleep Now I feel like I got energy for the week I was chefing up fruits, I was chefing up leeks I was chefing up greens, curry and chickpeas I was feeding the elite, I was stuffing my beak Now when I get the bread it's the one with the seeds I was blending banana, spinach and leaves Really pumping the iron, flexing Jeez. Gotta big up my son ever since he was young I could actually see that he didn't like me can't lie, it was hard at first, that's why I researched So I didn't put a foot wrong On the road menus, had nothing good on Now I go Subway, can I get a foot long? I didn't wanna grow food, could it took long Now I got time and space, I'm good done Soon my answer's gonna be my garden Whenever they're asking where I get my goods from It just worked out, I didn't plan it You don't know what you're missing, you ain't had it My son's a future hero, is what I tell him Cause being vegan's doing bits for the planet This food does not contribute to the gases Now I celebrate Earth Day with the masses Ain't just about recycling packets Better quote that or put it in brackets I don't follow anybody cause I'm no shit Nah. You gotta do it for yourself, whether that's cause of animals Or you wanna go clean, or you just wanna do it for the whole week My gym friend said they couldn't get protein So I said, would you know about protein? So they ain't always greener on the other side There ain't much greener you can show me